So it's been a really strange 2022, uh, and I'm really glad that we ended the way we did with a bang. Um, unfortunately, uh, there were some infections in the mainland China, uh, but January so far has seen a turnaround for us. Uh, so starting from the second week of January thereabouts, uh, the infection rates really started to drop off. So we had really high levels of mall closures and also of shop closures uh, because of these COVID infections. So starting from January second week, it's been actually very strong. Um, I think we're on track right now to hitting an all-time high for January. Uh, so this will probably the be, be the best month on record for us. Of course, there's a little bit of impact from the shifting Chinese New Year. Uh, the holiday as it moves, sometimes sales also move with it. Uh, so we're looking pretty good uh, at 2023, uh, and I think that we have some, some good things installed. All right. Now, from one investment theme, we talked to about another, and that is interest rates and the impact here in Hong Kong. Uh, we've got, uh, we're waiting on that interest rate decision and the effect on Hong Kong demand as well as prices. Of course, the mainland boost. Are you seeing a mainland boost with this reopening? Uh, the mainlanders coming into Hong Kong and potentially having the interest in buying Hong Kong property. And what do you see the outlook for Hong Kong property prices? So Hong Kong property prices are always something that people like to talk about. Um, the mainland demand, I think, is real uh, with mainland travelers coming back to Hong Kong, and especially after their experience in the mainland over the past six, nine, 12 months. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be looking at Hong Kong as a good alternative, uh, or at least as a good second home. So Hong Kong prices, I am actually mildly uh, hopeful for. Uh, I know that any time there's an interest rate rise, if that's what we get, uh, there may be some pressure. Uh, that being said, uh, the way we look at the high-end market is uh, probably stronger than the mass market. Uh, but even then, I think that the Hong Kong market has probably found its bottom and we're looking up from here. Okay, now if I could push you a little bit more because we were uh, listening to Centerline yesterday. They're expecting a U-shaped rebound in Hong Kong property. Uh, what, what letter shape do you expect? I, I would not say it's a V-shape. I'm not so bold. That being said, you know, I do feel pretty good about it. Uh, over the Chinese New Year in Hong Kong, you do hear a lot more Mandarin in the streets, in the shops, uh, and definitely I think that will react both in the retail, uh, sorry, the residential, the retail and office markets. Now, as we talk about uh, this reopening with the mainland borders, that was long awaited. Uh, it's a boost in tourism, but also let's talk about the office space and occupancy uh, because uh, some are talking now about working only two to three days a week. So the first part of my question, what is your stance on that over at Hong Kong Properties and how do you expect that to impact office rentals? So I think uh, one thing that people don't often understand is that the markets for office rentals and office habits are very different here in Asia uh, compared to what they are in the US and in Europe. So out here, actually 95 or more percent of my staff are back in the office. Uh, we do encourage them to be back in the office, although since COVID, we've taken a much more flexible stance uh, overall. So I think that office demand here is still going to be strong. Uh, we've seen a little bit of occupancy in Central, and obviously with some of these new buildings coming up, we can expect to see uh, prices under pressure. Uh, that being said, I think the office market, both in Hong Kong and in the mainland, have been surprisingly resilient, especially in the mainland, uh, where we're actually up 11% year on year for just the office portfolio alone. Uh, so I think it actually it's, it's not a bad sector uh, for us in the high end.